Hey, we saw the Milky Way, dude. How cool is that? Yeah, that's true. And Mars. That was so cool Arthur and Stanley let us use the telescope. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I see. These guys are real cool. Don't mind me, I'm just looking for some collectibles. Hey, see this? <sighs> Looks like the ones you did back in that cabin. When you got sick. Oh, totally. Wait. He's so not interested. Does that mean other people were here? Of course. Maybe someone from away did it. Oh, I bet it was Joanne. Think Joanne will let me help her with her sculpture when we get back? Hell yeah. You're like the magic assistant. Amazing that anything can grow out here. Does it ever rain in the desert? Well, oh, uh, good question. Sometimes. Well, not sometimes, more like rarely. Holy! Huh? What was that? What um, was what? I didn't see it. Looks like an eagle. I didn't oh. see it. Let's go find the nest. <laughs> yeah, then the eagle will eat you. My legs are gonna be like yours after all this hiking now. What's wrong with my legs? I'm trying to say I have some muscled legs? Hmm. Are these things now what the hell is that? Or something? <laughs> it's a cactus, dude. It stings. That's all. <laughs> Lame. Daniel? I see something behind this rock. Can you bring it over? Ah, oh, gotcha. I see. Here it comes. Oh, look at that. So cool. Yep. We're taking this treasure. That feels real good to get that achievement. Damn. I got the munchies. Hope Karen has some food. I wish I had the power to fly. It'd be such a short hike. Hey, need help getting down? Dude, I got this. Come on, let me be your big See? brother. Easy peasy. Until you fall on your ass. Yeah, but I didn't. Oh, look, look. Oh man, I just saw a cool baby lizard. Yeah, and you scared it. I know. Looks like a job for our local super psychic boy. So, maybe he can help us get out of here? Mm, I'll try. Step back. Be... Super careful. <sighs> Boom. Easy peasy. <laughs> nice, man.
I want to see Karen so I can yell at her some more. Hey, I'm gonna go see what Joanne is doing. <laughs> go for it. I have to bring back the telescope to Stanley and Arthur. I really miss Finn. Went to town for weekly supplies. Some pancakes left in the kitchen? <laughs> back soon. Daniel, you copy? Yes, I read you. Ten four. I have a pancake alert in the kitchen. Repeat. Pancake alert. Whatever. Joanne has waffles. Over and out. Ooh. Ten four. No flying pancakes today. It's a better point. Maybe I want some pancakes though. Why? Okay. I see your poetry. She's really good at rewriting her own life. She's a solo Mobius. I'm not reading all this. Oh. This one's pretty intense. I think I get it. Pretty typical poetry. Whoa. I hope Karen sends this to Claire and Steven. Basically, the letter is her saying she uh, regrets the way things ended between them, but at the same time, she blames them for uh, not giving her freedom growing up and the rigid way she was raised, which I kind of see since we kind of spend some time with the grandparents and they have very strict rules and stuff. But she just calls herself a problem child. You know, this is a letter to her parents. I I'm not one to judge. Shouldn't be reading it anyway. Either Karen was desperate for a job, or she loved working with kids. She loved working with kids but couldn't take care of her own. Wouldn't that be ironic? Karen's bed. I don't want to look at her bed. I do remember Karen would drown her pancakes in hot sauce. Ugh, gross. Sounds pretty gross. One thing Claire and Karen have in common, their You're love for pancakes. savage. You're eating it with your hands? What's wrong with you? Disgusting. Open your backpack. I know my objectives are. Excuse me for exploring. I miss his ass, too. If he wasn't such a fuck-up, could take over the world. I lucked out due to overcrowding? Uh, I don't know about that. <laughs> so I'm writing to you and it feels good. He misses us. Asks how Daniel's doing. He has community service. He's on parole. Basically what I said, except he's on parole and not in jail. So you can't really do anything regardless. We should have taken him with us. Oh, I didn't change oh. my diapers, but it feels kind of awkward to be here. I didn't realize it was a bra. I was like, what is that? Is that a spider hanging up there? Gotta keep my eye lube handy. Pretty sad. You're what? Glad I don't need it as much. What did you just say to me? Snake clamp. Ugh. I wish Karen didn't tell me she got a rattlesnake out of the toilet last week. Oh, that's actually one of my fears. Going to, you know, use the toilet. And there's a snake. It's not uncommon when I where I live. Actually, it's uncommon, but there's been a news story about it, which means it's not that not Looks common. Looks like they all finally found their home.
Karen looks so young and fragile on this picture. Mm. Hard times. I've read enough of your poetry. Daniel's not here, so... At... Excuse me, water boy. Did you remember to feed the crops? I never forget. Ask mom. But no way I can grow stuff like she can. Uh, maybe in Mexico. Oh, yeah. We can grow a lot of Daniel, stuff. Daniel the farmer? That would actually be really cool. We could also try to be self-sufficient when we're in Mexico. Is that a collectible? Let me decorate my bag though. Daniel's inventory. How do I decorate my bag again? Right, good enough. Hmm. Arthur and Stanley probably want their telescope back. They, sh I bet they do. David always wants to help, but he's tough to figure out. So Penny, but older. Hey. Your Captain Spirit drawing was awesome. <laughs> Thanks. Morning, Sean. Hmm. Wish I could show it to Chris. Do you think he could visit us down in Puerto Lobos? Um, why not? Yep. Let's make it happen. Yeah. Instead of snowmen, we can make sand castles. Morning, guys. Look at that. I thought there was only vultures in the desert. Here. Hey, what's up? Morning, Sean. Join us. Have a seat. Hey, just in time for our special desert brew. And dust free. Thanks. See, the problem is Sean so trusts these people. Sean, and it's I don't, too early I to don't. be so awake. I don't know who they are. No kidding. Hey, how was your sleepover in the canyon? I don't want to tell <laughs> Amazing. you. Amazing. We watched the sunrise. Daniel loved it too. That's my favorite view out here. It's like ancient times, but it never gets old. Unlike us, darling. That canyon will be here long after we're gone. Hope you looked up. We did. Thanks for hooking us up. <laughs> Anytime. Even my daughter Becky loves to stargaze when she visits us. That's the only way to get Arthur to camp now. Becky is the real astronomer in the family. Wonder where she got this. From her mom, probably. Hope you guys get to meet Becky. Does she come visiting often? <sighs> Not as much as I'd want. Can't really blame her. But you know, well, some parts of the year this place is full of friends and family. Christmas, for example. So, why did you come out here? Because we got tired of people's bullshit. Things change. But being gay is still dangerous. The end. Sean, I'm almost 60, and I was a happily married man for 20 years. Until I came out. I don't blame my family for being in shock. But I didn't think they'd disown me. My oh. other daughters won't even talk to me anymore. Oh. So why stay? Oh. After we got together, we both had serious breakdowns. Then we got the hell out of the Bay Area. For the better. I hear that. I'm just so fucking tired of running. I hope me and Daniel find our own... away. You will. People come here to reset their life become the person they want to be, or used to be. 
you're smart. You'll figure out your next direction. Right, Gramps? Speak for yourself, Grandpa. My body might be 59, but I'm 25. <laughs> uh-huh. I'll remember that on the next hike. I'm gonna see what Daniel's up to. Thanks for the desert, Brew. These two remind me of Claire and Steven. In a weird, hippie version. Hey, I remember this. Huh. You th hey, Sean. What were you doing at Oscar and Stanley's place? You're a little too young to be stalking me, dude. Um, you know what? I saw them kissing the other day. Kinda weird. You know, it's actually normal for people in love to kiss, right? I know. I just mean, they're really cute together. I hope somebody cares about me like that when I get old. But hey, artist, come by Joanne's place. We're making wild sculptures. <laughs> Hold up. I'll be over in a minute. We were talking about, we were talking about the bear. This part of town is dead this time of year. Oh. I should stay around here. Clearly, I didn't really get another choice. This place is so big. I want to go check out the school bus. No matter what happened before, Karen did hook us up here. That counts. No, it doesn't. No, it doesn't. Stop. I wish Daniel wasn't the only kid in town. Stop this. You got this development from her and I wasn't around for it. No, it doesn't. Can we draw? This place is such a trip. Oh, it's just just sitting in reminiscing. It's kind of like a desert mirage. I thought this was a drawing spot. You think you can see it, but the closer you get, it changes. Okay, get up.